Hello and welcome, my name is Leisha and this is Project Vegan, so let's get baking. Today we're going to be making another Christmas treat. We're going to be making Christmas mince pies, which are super duper popular here and I personally am a big fan, but this is a two day one because you need to do a little bit of prep the day before. We actually have, so for those that don't know, Christmas mince pie filling is a day to like sit in alcohol or juices and just to soak up some flavors. We actually have some in the fridge from last year, but I think it'll be quite strong because it's been sitting in there most of the year, obviously. I think I made some in the middle of the year, but if you want to see that, I made some last year. I will link them in the information cards in below. I haven't watched this video in a while, so excuse that. Um, yeah, it's really simple. So we're going to get started on it. Um, you're going to need a lemon, an apple, two cups of dried fruit mix, some brandy. Now, I don't know how YouTube is going to react to this, but um, I'll just preface this by saying I am 19. In where I live, it's legal to drink at 18. But on top of that, it's just going to soak in and it'll cook out when you cook the Christmas mince pies tomorrow anyway. But just in case people have a fit in the comments. And um, yeah, that's about all you'll need and you'll need some spices. You'll need cinnamon, mixed spice, and a little bit of nutmeg. And that's pretty much it, unless I've forgotten something. So let's get started. You're going to want to start by peeling and grating this apple. I have peeled and cored my apple, but the old fashioned way, because I don't have one of those fancy, like, you know, the ones that it just takes a circle out? I don't have one of them. But we're going to be using the white holes of the grater to grate my apple. Um, I'm also, while I've got the grater out, going to rind my lemon. Don't be fooled by the green, it is definitely a lemon. <laughs> so basically, we're just going to chop all the ingredients up, put them in a bowl, and put it in the fridge overnight. So, really simple. But there's a couple of things you need to know. So the mixed fruit, it wants the recipe calls for half of it to be chopped finely and half of it to be as is. So one cup will be chopped and the other cup will not. But to start with here, I have my apple completely filled, done, grated and chuck that in a bowl. I'm then going to zest my lemon. Also, did you know that the outer part is the sweeter part, and the further down you get to the white, that's the more bitter stuff. So when you're zesting lemons, you don't want to go down too far, because that's how you get that bitter lemon flavor. Just a little bit of tip. Uh, you need to keep this because you want the juice from it. Um, next up, we are going to do our fruit mix. I'm going to measure out one cup here. The pieces look pretty fine as it is, so... I may just go with it. I'm just gonna leave it because I don't feel like it. Then you're gonna want two tablespoons of brandy. Oh, that's something I might make. Um, would you like to see how to make brandy snaps? Maybe, yes. And fill them with coconut cream. One, two, and a little extra for it. Next up, you want to add in about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm just going to do half a lemon's worth of juice. You want to add about a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of allspice, and just a pinch of nutmeg. And we'll give that a big mix. I can smell it. It smells like Christmas and spice. <laughs> um, once it's all done, you just want to put a piece of glad wrap over the top or transfer it into like a jar or something that you can seal and nothing can get into it and will get contaminated by the fridge air. Um, then you want to leave it overnight and we'll come back to it tomorrow where we will make a short pastry type thing for the shelves and then we will fill them with this beautiful Christmas mince pie mints and taste them, which will all be happening tomorrow. But for you, it'll be literally a second. So I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, it is the next day for me, probably only been like a second for you, who knows, but we're going to start by making, or start off making the pastry for the Christmas mince pies that we started yesterday. Um, so, you're, uh, oh. so, you 
don't need any equipment to make this. However, pastry is easier to make in a blender. You just blend the stuff up and it uh, makes the butter into frying breadcrumbs, but you can also do it by rubbing the butter in, which is what we're gonna do today because doing it with no equipment means there's less noise because our food processor is so loud. And it also, I don't know, I feel like doing it by hand today, so that's what we're gonna do. Ready? so here with me, I've got this big bowl um, into the bowl, I'm going to put two cups of plain flour, one and two. I'm also going to add in a third of a cup of sugar, and I'm just going to give this a real quick mix though. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to add in the 160 grams of margarine or vegan butter. Um, I'm just going to really quickly chop this up. The smaller the pieces, the easier it is to rub in, so smaller pieces are definitely better for this. Also, if your butter is quite firm, it would also be best to soften it. Except for margarine, all this butter is incredibly soft. So I'm not too worried about that. Once all your butter chunks are in there nicely, this is when you can get your hands a little bit dirty and just use your fingertips to rub the butter into the flour and sugar mixture. After a while, you'll end up with something like this so the pieces can clump together and will hold but they're also extremely crumbly and it kind of looks like breadcrumbs or a crumble that you would chuck on top of something next what you're going to want to do is if you're not making a vegan version you can add an egg yolk or if you're not too worried about eggs however i'm going to be using coconut cream or coconut yogurt as a replacement for the egg yolk all the egg yolk does is add a little bit of texture and creaminess Therefore, we're adding milk or cream or something creamy as a replacement. Also need to add two tablespoons of ice water. So I have a cup with an ice cube and water in it, and I'm gonna add those two in. I'm also gonna add in my tablespoon of coconut, coconut cream, in that goes. And then I'm going to mix that all together again and hopefully a dough will form this time. Once your dough has come together all nicely like so and you have a big little ball, you're going to cover it and let it rest in the fridge for about 20 minutes. And then it'll be time to roll them out and cut them. Just before you take them out of the fridge or about 5 minutes or so before, you want to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius to let the oven preheat on bake need a light little floured surface. Face this bad boy here. Gonna need a rolling pin. You're also gonna need something to cut circles with or circle like shapes and a star of some sort or something to go in the middle or the top. If your dough's sticking to the rolling pin a little bit too much, feel free to add a little bit of flour on top. I think that's roughly five mils. I just want to make it even all throughout the pastry. I'm going to use a knife to attempt to get them off in one piece. Then Inside a muffin tray, I'm going to put my pieces and shape them a little bit so that they fit all the way to the bottom, like that. And I'm going to fill the whole tray like that. I clearly didn't flour my bench enough, so make sure you flour your bench enough. Alrighty, so this is what I've got. I've got four in this tray, six over here, and enough stars to cough the top of them. So it's time to add the filling. <laughs> I'm gonna start with like a huge tablespoon, like this much and see how we go. Obviously the smaller ones probably won't quite fit as much, but we'll see how we go. That might be a little full. Okay, maybe a little bit less this time. Yeah, a little bit more. There we are, that's a good size, all right. All right, so that's my first tray over here. 
And then I'm going to put these stars on top. And the last step for those ones is to be brushed with a little bit of milk and they're ready to cook. So we're just going to fill these last ones. They won't need as much filling and time to brush them. A finishing step that is by no means required is just a little bit of a brush of milk or some sort of egg replacement over the top, which should just allow for a bit more browning. You're more than welcome to skip this step. Then all you're going to do is you're going to take your trays, chuck them in the oven, which is already preheated, and they cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. So we'll see one of the final products, and I am so excited to eat these because these are one of my Christmas favorites. And I can guarantee I'll be making them again. Probably won't be filming yet, but I will be making these lots. So we're all done and cooled. I got them out of the tins, which was surprisingly easy. I actually think these bigger ones could have handled a little bit more because they're quite pale on the bottom. Whereas on the bottom, these ones are a bit more golden. But either way, I still think they're going to taste great. And I think they look amazing. Like, look at that. Um, I actually cut one open, so we're going to try it. I know what they taste like, it's fruit mince pies, but I love them, so. Mm. The outside's nice and crunchy, which is nice. And then the bottom's like soft. It's not quite, quite like as crisp and as thin as the store-bought ones, but I still love them. Like, I love homemade ones better, that's what it's about for me. Christmas baking, I love it. Like, mm, best part of Christmas. Anyway, these taste great and they taste even better because they're homemade. I've actually made a Christmas baking playlist and I will link that in one of the information cards. I always forget which side it is, but it'll be up there and you can follow along with all my other Christmas baking. So far, it's just Christmas shortbread, but stay tuned, there will be more. Um, yeah. I hope you have enjoyed. Please hit that thumb bu thumbs up button if you're just as excited for Christmas as I am. Um, comment down below if you've got any Christmas ideas. Or anything else you'd like to comment down below. I love reading your comments. Um, hit that subscribe button because anything helps at all. And I'd love for you guys to keep up to date with my videos. If anyone can learn a bit more about vegan baking, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.